The little engines were busy clearing their railway of leaves and broken branches. Peter Sam and Rusty often worked together. One day, Rusty held Peter Sam to a water tower. And once there, whistled goodbye. Peter Sam felt much better after his long drink, but the trucks were bored. Let's break away, they giggled. Their loads were heavy and the couplings old. One snap. Faster, faster, shouted the trucks. A sign read, slow, steep bends and ravine ahead, but the silly trucks never saw it. Then it was too late. Peter Sam arrived at the scene of the disaster. His driver sighed. This was our fault. We didn't secure them properly. We'll have to get help to pull them out. The fat controller will be very annoyed. And he was. You will shunt trucks in the yards till I can trust you again. Duncan was delighted with Peter Sam's dilemma. Fancy no securing your trucks on a hill. They'll come back to spook you in your special funnel. Woo woo! And who's to say that you're not afraid of ghosts, snapped Rusty. Pah! Ghosts! Things that go bump in the night are rubbish. Well, I'll tell you a story that'll make your funnel quiver, Rusty said. A long time ago, a little engine was returning home. It was a misty, moonlit night. As the engine crossed the old iron bridge, he suddenly lost control and plunged over the side into the swamps below. Never found again. But many a workman will tell you that when the moon is full, they have seen the little engine trying to get home, but he never reaches the other side. So what do you think of that, Duncan? Pa, nonsense, replied Duncan, and he puffed away. Never mind him, Peter Sam. He'd be frightened if he really saw a ghost. This gave Peter Sam's driver an idea. Let's play a trick on Duncan. The next day, he spoke to Duncan's driver and fireman, who agreed. We'll do it tonight, they said. Duncan had to take coal trucks to the slate mines and then bring slate trucks back. Duncan's driver decided as part of the plan to cross the old iron bridge. Haunted bridge, pa, snorted Duncan. It's as tame as a pet rabbit. But all the same, he kept thinking about Rusty's story. When dusk fell, he was keen to leave. If we don't go now, Scarlow will take my favourite place in the sheds. We can't go back until we've collected all the trucks, his driver replied. He could see their plan was working because Duncan was nervous. When night fell, they set off. The moon was full and the mists were rising around the old iron bridge. Duncan whistled and the sound echoed everywhere. Then ahead, he saw flickering lights. His driver knew they were only little insects that shine brightly at night, but to Duncan, they looked like an engine. Next, his driver secretly threw a rock from the cab into the ravine below. It's the ghost! Take me back! Take me back, please! When Duncan reached the safety of his shed, he closed his eyes tightly. Spooked, are you, Duncan? laughed his driver. No, wailed Duncan. I'm asleep! And refused to open his eyes. He did, though, when he thought his driver wasn't looking, just to make sure that he was still there. 